ES Audio. From the Evening Standard in London, I'm John Weeks and this is The Leader. Data shows in 2019 there were 97 fatal and serious injury crashes on the M25. The figures have prompted Highways England to try and cut down on crashes and delays on the motorway by targeting distracted drivers. For the next two weeks, they'll work with police on Operation Orbital. It'll involve officers travelling along the motorway in an unmarked HGV called a supercab looking for distracted drivers. Colin Evans is the Regional Road Safety Coordinator at Highways England. First of all, Colin, how exactly does this work? The cab generally has a police driver and an observer with a video camera. And because of their elevated position, they can see into other vehicles quite easily. If they see an offence, then the passenger with the video recorder videos it for evidence and then gets on the radio to one or a number of, of following liveried police vehicles, sometimes as many as five or six, one of which will then pull the offending vehicle over, deal with the driver, and the truck continues on. And each time the passenger sees a, a, an offence and records it, calls a, a following vehicle in to deal with the offence. An example of dangerous driving already highlighted by Highways England is people behind the wheel using two phones at once. What other kind of dangerous things have you seen people doing behind the wheel? Unfortunately, that's not as uncommon as you might think. I mean, I've seen drivers with a primer stove balanced on the dashboard heating up a can of beans. I've seen a a van driver with an Italian uh, espresso coffee machine on it, you know, (laughs) It is important to stress the overwhelming majority of our customers drive properly, safely and appropriately. And they're really not our target audience here. I think by now, everybody knows they shouldn't be texting whilst driving. They shouldn't be using their handheld phone while they're driving. I think the law is quite clear on that. And the penalty is £200 fixed penalty and six points on your licence. So are these sort of distractions happening enough to warrant this new HGV operation? Yeah, very definitely. I mean, the M25 is the busiest stretch of road in in the country. We see an average of about 165,000 vehicle movements a day. That's like 7,500 odd vehicle movements an hour. That's an awful lot of traffic. And for it to work, really, we need things to go smoothly. And I'm sure everyone who uses the M25 has been caught in in traffic at, at some stage. And very often it's a result of a a minor lack of attention on somebody's behalf, somebody distracted just for a moment, maybe, or maybe for a longer period, who knows. Our economy loses quite a lot of money every time the motorway grinds to a halt. So quite apart from the the injury savings and the the human costs of, of injury crashes and God forbid deaths on the road, there's also those niggly little collisions, breakdowns, incidents that happen that bring the motorway to a halt does have quite an effect on the country as a whole. Now, some people will probably hear this and feel like it's quite an invasive measure. What do you say to that? The law requires you to pay attention to the road. I, <laughs> I think if you're doing something that recklessly endangers your life and others, shouldn't we be trying to stop you doing that and, and showing you the error of your ways and suggesting ways you can cope with not doing that and, and doing what you're supposed to do? If you're in charge of a couple of tonnes of fast-moving metal, Shouldn't you be concentrating? So what do you see the future of this tactic being of using an HGV and police to target distracted drivers? As Operation Orbital, it's a a focused two weeks of operation. It is quite resource intensive. So we're, we're very grateful to our police colleagues. We've got seven police forces and DVSA involved, as well as our our own uh, traffic officers and other members of staff. So it is quite manpower heavy. Operation Tramline, which is the the three cabs that we ordinarily provide for our our police colleagues nationally, that runs all the time. So there is the potential that any unmarked white lorry cab you see could be our police colleagues out doing their enforcement. And for you personally, Colin, I mean, how confident are you that this will actually change people's perceptions about what they do when they're driving? There's no silver bullet. There's no magic wand to wave, unfortunately. So we have to do a little bit of everything, raise people's awareness. I mean, traditionally, road safety talked about the three E's of road safety. So you'd have education, enforcement and engineering. And no one of them can solve all your problems. But together, we can solve most of them. 
There's more on this story in the Evening Standard newspaper and at standard.co.uk. That's The Leader. We're back on Wednesday at 4pm.